Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Louisville Cardinals and the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Thunderbirds are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. Number one, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. Next, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense and don't get caught gambling. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Entry pass in the paint. He pulls the trigger, sinks it. Take a look right here. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Number 23 receives the ball. He uses the shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside-outside action always works. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Now trying to feed the low block. Number 23, pump fakes. Jump hook from the low block. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Here's the toss back out from the po He gets the rejection. Way off target. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, so first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets a good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Number 10 receives the pass. Gave it up. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The skip pass is picked off. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. High post screen. So effective, that screen. NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Down inside. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Nicky's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Number three is animated and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. The shooting guard handles the pass. He tries the three ball. He nails the bucket. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. High post flashes. Up and inside. Number three handles the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. 
And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They go into the low block. There's the fake. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post play. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Thinks about the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Louisville are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. On the outside. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Takes the pass in the paint. He tries a jump hook. Doesn't go. Now they work it around the perimeter. Almost lost the basketball. From the top of the key. Tickles a twine. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Off the rim and no good. Trying to feed the low block. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. We're about ready to start things up again. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass tries for two and he missed fakes the shot with the jump hook He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. Pump fakes. Up fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Working it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Drains the shot. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. Number four with a huge jam. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. Thanks, Aaron. Looking for a good shot. 
The Thunderbirds have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Roll it back again, fellas. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really dumb. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside, got some room. For two, in and out. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Fakes the jumper. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Louisville are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Good job defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin moves. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. But inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. Way off target. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the arc. Gets up to make the block. They work the perimeter. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Full court pass. Number 34 draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Cardinals are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Good. Louisville are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. And he got them both. And he'll kick it back outside. With a bucket. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. And a momentary look from three-point land. Buried it. That's an 8-0 run. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. He goes with a jump hook. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. 
Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. out on the floor. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Gave it up. Has a nice look at the basket. He shoots from the angle. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Controlling the ball. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Jumps in. Number 23 makes the finger roll. the dribble gives it up that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see raw man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting gave it up they go inside and now back outside i tell you inside outside action always works he shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Number one is charged with the foul. First team foul. They work it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Tries for two. Doesn't go. With a bucket, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Gets it to fall. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. And in and out. Ball moved back outside from down low. They let him get into a rhythm. On the outside. Gave it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Take that to the basket. Tight D here. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Number 
number 32 picks up the foul. Second team foul. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. For two, perfectly executed. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Pound to the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They work the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Great play to take that to the basket. And he'll kick it back outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From right in the circle, scorches the net. <laughs> Jump hook from the low post and off the mark. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Number three makes a great move to draw the foul. He goes to the line. He missed it. Makes the shot. Number 10 is down emotionally right now, Dick. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Leans in. Contact causes the shot to come off. Looking for a good shot. From left of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Opportunity for two for one. Goes up for two. That's good. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Shot clock is dead. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. At the end of the first half, the Thunderbirds are trailing by 18. Number 23. Couldn't really get it going in the first half, Dick. And they're suffering big time because of it, Brad. It's going to take more than just him to climb back into this game. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Dick, what can they do to stop their scoring garage? I don't know, Brad. Dim the lights, maybe? I don't know. They're on fire right now. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Dumps it in. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the inside, there's the pick, there's the roll. Tries for two. They still don't score. He's got a pass that'll make a play, Brad. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The center takes the pass. Tries for two. Rims out. There they come with a double team to stop it. It's stolen. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Kicks it out. Double team now, bad angle. Ten seconds on the clock. For the bucket. He can't get the hoop to fall. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. The power forward takes the feed for two. Easy one. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Number 10 is pounded on his way up. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Just like in practice. Hits the second. Now they work it around the perimeter. The center gets the ball. Puts up the shot. That's good. the dribble gives it up big man spins down in the low block does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other a 
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The shooting guard gets the pass. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Number 23 draws the person. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. Number 23 steps to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Gets his second. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He intercepts it. They anticipate so well defensively. Picks off the lazy pass. Goes up for two. And in and out. Working around the arc. He intercepts it. Gave it up. The shooting guard with the ball. He attempts the three. Southern Utah are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. The game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He shoots from long range. Makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. From left of the circle. The Thunderbirds have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Rims out. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. They work the perimeter. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. High post flasher is open. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Takes the pass in the paint. Number four makes a great move to draw the foul. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Thanks, Erin. Gets them both to fall.
On the outside. He shoots from the angle. Nice shot. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. back to the outside. Seems as though this conference, Dick, attracts some of the world's greatest young players. It's the Big East, Brad. This conference has always had great teams and players. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way and the spin back the other way. Top of the key. Got it. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. it around the perimeter. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He tries the three. The shot won't fall. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two. Oh, yes. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. Great shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Let's see if here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. On the outside. Intercepted. Looking for a good shot. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. 
jumped in front to take it away. A high screen. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. A oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He hits his first. Southern Utah are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He takes the shot from the baseline. Rims out. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They work the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy that wants shooting the ball. it away they'd like to get it inside of the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass they're having a rough time getting them to drop Brad they should take to the basket and get some easy hoops the Thunderbirds have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. There's a double team waiting there. I'll tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin now they work it around the perimeter goes for the deep one for the bucket tickles the twine Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Up and inside. For the deuce. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from the elbow. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. Porter sinks it. Now that's basic. There's the trap. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Working it around the perimeter. Time to pick up 
the defense here now. For two, the Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. On the outside. Picked off. Gave it up. Steals the pass. From the top of the key, he's good for another score. Hands in his face any time now, boys. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries for two. And he missed. Takes away the pass. Pushes it. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. timeout I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides one would assume so the lead is up to eight they could be starting to pull away here Dick here he comes defensively on him in a low block Dick he's trying three quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball full court pass Side. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Now it's man or clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. As we see the game situation here. Hey Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. He'll go to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Second one is good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. What do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to do what's gotten them this far, Brad. Can't change now. He tries the three ball. Rims out. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. The Cardinals are in the bonus. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number one goes to the line for the first time. It's good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Gets the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Now they work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hitting the shots, Brad. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Louisville played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. Brad Nestler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.